Uh, Quit. we have so much to talk about tonight, I'm going to get right into it. First, uh, let me know, who here has been watching any of the baseball games on Fox? Anybody seen these games? Okay. So this is what I want to talk about. Let's put aside uh, which team you're rooting for for a second. Uh, you've probably all noticed they've tried something new, Fox. They've put a camera right in front of home plate, on the ground, buried into the dirt, looking up. A lot of people hate it. When someone gets a hit, they show it again. Have you seen this, Max? Yeah. They show it again. A lot of people hate it, but I think it's amazing. I think it's exciting. I think it adds so much that I want to start doing it in the monologue. <laughs> on top of the show. I thought that would be great. Yeah. We're going to try it tonight. Let's just see what that looks like right now. I'm just curious. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that just invigorate? That's a lot of people coming. Yeah, they were talking. Wow. This is a new I love you too, sir. Now, uh, <laughs> this is just, you know what I mean? Every other host comes out and hey, the news, blah, blah, blah. This kicks it up a notch. And that's what we need. Right now, we are being yanked from so many markets <laughs> in the South right now. I don't like that. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> well, we have a, we had a great show this evening. We have so much to talk about here on the show. We have the, uh, I got the latest on the Bill O'Reilly uh, scandal. You want to hear about this? Okay, good. It's been, thank you, because if you had said no, where would I go, really? What would I do? <laughs> Uh, it's been reported that the Bill O'Reilly sexual harassment lawsuit is very close to being settled. Both sides are in what they're calling serious negotiations. That's right. Yeah, in fact, today, O'Reilly called the woman and said, seriously, let me see your boobs. And I thought that was... I thought that was... Yeah. See, that's where you want to be after a Bill O'Reilly joke. Bill O'Reilly's in the news, and down! <laughs> and up! <laughs> Fidel Castro had a little bit of uh, bad luck yesterday. <laughs> wow, that got a laugh. A little bad luck for Fidel Castro. <laughs> that commie. Uh, true story, yesterday after giving a speech, uh, Cuban dictator Fidel Castro tripped and fell on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, the floor was immediately arrested, interrogated, and shot. Right away. Wow, it's just hard to compete. The, uh, the CEO of Kmart is resigning after only 10 months. He's only been in the job 10 months, he's resigning, but he's getting $90 million in stock options. Yeah. Yeah, when asked what he planned to do with all the money, he said, never shop at Kmart again. <laughs> and then, uh, I gotta mention this, the, the, uh, the World Series, of course, starts on Saturday, and uh, this is the latest news. The owner of Mickey Mantle's restaurant right here in Manhattan says that, this is true, that Mickey Mantle appeared to him in a dream and told him to rename the restaurant Ted Williams in honor of the Red Sox. That's what happened. He said he came to him, came to him in a dream, came to him in a dream and said, rename the restaurant Ted Williams. Yeah, yeah. Then the next night, Ted Williams appeared in his dream and said, screw the restaurant, how about defrosting my head? <laughs> Defrost my head. There's priorities here. <laughs> Defrost the head and then do what you want with the restaurant. And then uh, Martha Stewart, we have to mention Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart's lawyers gave a statement the other day. They said that while Martha's in prison, this is a quote, she's been working on innovative recipes with her fellow inmates. <laughs> yeah. In fact, earlier today, two of her cellmates made a Martha sandwich. <laughs> Let 
Let me have the billboard. I want to do the billboard to this camera right here. If I didn't have this card, I wouldn't know who the hell was on the show. Let me go right here. Right here. I'm going to put it right here. I think this is going to be a whole new way to do the show from here. <laughs> Folks, we have a terrific show tonight. <laughs> You're not going to believe who's on the show. Her first guest was the star. I love anyone tuning in right now. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite thing to imagine. Anyone who's been here is like, oh, yeah, he's doing some more of that. But anyone just tuning in, well, I'm a little late, but I'll check it out. What the hell? <laughs> uh, you know, our first guest was a star of Buffy the Vampire Slayer for seven years. Now she's in the movie The Grudge. Sarah Michelle Gellar's here. <laughs> I have got to work on my ass. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm learning from this experiment. Uh, from uh, one of the funniest shows, if not the funniest show on television, Arrested Development, uh, probably my favorite guy on that show, Will Arnett, is on the show. He's a funny, funny man. And then we have a bat expert on the show. He is bringing live bats filled with disease out here. <laughs> They're gonna fly around, they're gonna bite people. A lot of people are gonna get hurt. For the, at the very least, TiVo this. <laughs> Rob Myas is on the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need the card that says, and Max Weinberg, and the Max Weinberg 7. <laughs> We're in year 11. <laughs> and he's creeping up to me with the card that says, and the band tonight is Max Weinberg. He's a good kid. <laughs> What's that card again? <laughs> oh, there you go, Max Wine. Oh, good, okay. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have... <laughs> I'm just thrilled with that. I'm thrilled. We have... <laughs> Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Max! Come on in. <laughs> As I said over there, I have been enjoying the baseball playoffs so far this year, and I've especially, I've been enjoying Fox's coverage. You know, they do the, the new camera angles. Fox is always coming up with new ways to present baseball. They have the microphones that they use to add flavor to the game. Have you noticed that? They have microphones. Everyone's mic'd now. They've mic'd the players, the managers, the coaches, so you can hear what they're saying during the game. However, even as a fan of Fox, I think they went a little too far when they mic'd the ball itself. <laughs> That's their latest thing. They mic'd the ball. Listen to this highlight from the Yankees Red Sox series. I don't think this is necessary. <laughs> That's chilling. No one needs to hear that. That poor ball. That poor ball. That's what kids are saying at see that. That poor ball! I have to mention this. I'm sorry. But uh, one of our floor crew guys, uh, utility engineer Greg Kassoff, was at uh, Yankee Stadium for Game 7. Now, uh, let's get a shot of Greg right there. There he is. He's a good guy. Good man. Does the best he can. It's not his fault. In fact, he was even on... T I'm watching the, the game at home uh, the other night, and uh, he was there... And uh, they take a look. I just can't believe this happened. It was exciting for all of us. Fifth day, he had certain numbers that weren't as good as sixth day. This would be his side day with two days off for this Saturday. I'm not quite sure. I'm watching at home, and I'm like, and this is the weird thing. I'm watching at home, and they cut to the crowd, and I'm like, wait a minute. I know him. That, that, that's Greg. And just as I said that, he looked into the camera, <laughs> which was really freaky, because I thought that he saw me and was mad. <laughs> Or thought that I was mad. In fact, look at his look again in slow motion. It's so, it looks like he's seeing me. Check this out. It looks like Greg is, like, he's enjoying, uh oh
Could you see me? I thought you'd be like, oh, I know Conan's from Boston, and oh, oh he sees me chanting, who's your daddy? In fact, I just want to see that. Who's your daddy? Who's, oh, Conan's watching. All right.